UDP services sometimes can be used to compromise a specific host. And Nmap gives us the option to do UDP only scans. So open up your terminal and type in nmap su p which means we are going to scan all possible ports. And we are going to use a scanme.nmap.org as a target. After that, open another terminal, drag it to the left side, and add dash uppercase F to the UDP scan. You even can include verbosity if you want. The first scan that we started is taking very long because we specified that we want a nmap to scan all ports for us. In the left terminal we have port 123 opened, it's running through a UDP protocol, and it is service called NTP. In the right terminal we specified the full range of all the possible ports, but we are going to do it a bit differently in the left terminal. We are going to run a UDP scan with specific port range, which is from 1 to 400. Just type inside a terminal nmap-p1-400-su against scanme.nmap.org. It is very important to add that you cannot use fast port scan or dash F if you are using a specific port range or a list of specific ports. But you can use fast port scanning without specific port selection. Nmap's UDP scanning technique works in the following way. Basically, a UDP packet is sent to the target with an empty UDP payload, unless one specific payload is specified. If the UDP port is closed, an ICMP port unreachable message is received back from the target. And if the port is open, then the UDP data is received. If the port does not respond at all, we assume that port state is filtered slash opened. Filtered means there may be some kind of firewall or IDS behind the port. 